Hello and welcome back at another video about the Core PA5X. In this video we are going to take a look at how to use your existing MIDI files as song specific styles. And that's a really strong feature of the PA5X and I've never seen that on any keyboard. But you can load up any MIDI file and you can define sections in them. Just like the intro, farce, fills, breaks and endings. And uh, you can loop them, change them at will. Uh, it's a really powerful feature, but let me show you how to do it because it's really easy to do. So let's load up a uh, MIDI file. And for this, we are going to use the song Tequila for this. And that's a MIDI file, yeah, which you normally start and then you have to play the entire song. And if the audience wants a specific segment a little bit longer, or if you want to jam along it like, an, uh, like a musician, then uh, that's normally not really possible. But the Korg PA5X can do all these kind of things. And it's really easy, let me show you. In the section above, you will see something that is called marker. You can see it on the screen. And if you press that marker button, you come in the specific uh, elements of setting your loop segments into the MIDI file. And you see now that the light is changed to the numbers between the uh, intros, fills, endings, breaks, uh, whatever you want. And that means that we can set up till 15 segments in that MIDI file to do whatever we want. And it's very easy. So let me start by adding the first segment. And the MIDI file starts and we name that intro. Because every MIDI file starts with an intro. So now we're done. And it starts on position 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And let's start the play button. And whenever we think, hey, the intro is ending and we want to define a new segment, we just click the add button again. Yeah, you hear that it starts over here. So um, let me go back to bar four. Yeah, it starts at bar four. So let's add a segment on that one. So we start the next segment on 0, 4, 0, 1, 0, 0. And we name that far one. Okay. Uh, let's continue with the song. Press play. You see here where the bars is. Yeah, the next section starts at uh, 12. So um, let's press the add button again and we say, hey, at 12, it starts again. And we start the MIDI again. Yeah, and I like it that it uh, stops here and goes back. Let's create a new one. And let's name that um, first one, we name that LVAR2. And why do I call this LVAR? Because I think, when I set this up now, that this is a perfect section to loop uh, and do my uh, things of, over it. And the next one is sex. One. Let's go on. Yeah, 36 is um, the start of um, the bridge. So let's name that too. Bridge. And at 44, we start uh, the next section. So the bridge is from 36 to 44. Sex two. So with this uh, section, we have enough to, uh, to play the song. And what we see is now that we have multiple buttons light up. 
And what this does is it starts with intro one and it automatically goes through the entire uh, MIDI file. Uh, you will see in which section it is by uh, lighting. Well, it's lighted then over here. And in the top of your uh, element, you can see which element is active. So that's your visual uh, cue. And for instance, we know that the number three is the LVAR2. And because it starts with an L in my system, uh, I know that one can be looked at as perfectly for looped uh, purposes. Now we're basically done. We can uh, do whatever we want. We can uh, start with the intro. But we can also go directly to the bridge. And we add to the intro again. And this, this one is looped. So if you double click it, then you will see it starts blinking over here. And that means that it's looped. And we can check that. Blinks also over here. And it's purple over now. So that means that it constantly loops. And you hear one thing now, whenever it loops, it isn't exactly on point of that uh, loop point. It, starts, it just starts to start exactly at the beginning. So, and it's not perfectly in sync now, uh, because it starts a little bit too late. And in uh, MIDI files that you download, often it's, it's not exactly on the beat itself, but just a little bit in front or behind it. So, but we want a loop point, because we are going to make this a loopable section. And we want to have it exactly on point. So we have to modify the starting point of that section three. And that's luckily easy to do. Just press the edit button, click on the position field. And we know that a segment, it is a four to four beat that uh, it exists of um, four elements. And these three figures uh, can have a maximum of 400. So it's 100 per section. So that means that for this one, we have to say, hey, on beat 11, a little bit in front of that, on section 380, we want to set the loop point. So you can't he really hear it, um, but the loop point will now be perfectly in this MIDI file. So um, maybe this is a little bit too hard for you, but um, just keep in mind that you that when a loop point doesn't feel entirely correct that you have to manually shift that loop point based on the quality of your uh, MIDI file and this MIDI file quality well it wasn't quantized exactly on the beat so then you have to modify it yourself but as you see it's luckily very easy to do and if you listen to this loop point now by double clicking it you will see it's purple the loop is automatically activated and when we play it now it's exactly on that start of the first uh, guitar and we see when it's 20 at bar 20, see it? it loops automatically now to number 12. So really perfect. And now we can play along. We have the entire song. So let's play that uh, tune and uh, let's see what we can do with that uh, song. And you see that it's now on section two. And it will continually now run through those uh, sections and now it's with that looped variation section I think hey I want to loop this because I want to play a little bit longer double click it it will start to blink you can also see it in the screen and now it's looped and we can play the saxophone as long as we want So that's the way uh, to do it and then whenever we decide hey we want to go to the bridge you can do it. And starting to that loop point again and I can do other things.
and you can say, hey, you want to mute the drums. And that's the beauty part of it. We have that matrix uh, pad, and in preset 4, you can mute elements. And instead of the 8, we get now 16 channels to our uh, advantage. And on number 10, the drums is always there. So I can add uh, the drums at will. I can also mute other uh, elements. But that gives uh, a lot of uh, extra possibilities with this uh, MIDI file, which now behaves like a song style. And it's still looped. And now I let it continue uh, with the uh, elements and you uh, well you get to do it so that's how you how easy it is to get um, to set your own MIDI files uh, to song specific styles and uh, you can save the song if you press that button and you save the song then it will automatically save also those segments so whenever you uh, load a different uh, song again so now it's a uh, different one and if you load the Takiria song again you will see that automatically Everything you have set up in your uh, MIDI file is uh, entered. So let me give an, uh, another example of something with loop points. In, the, uh, in this blue section, we have also a nice uh, section that we can loop. So let's uh, try this song. So now we have that MIDI file of BB King, Sweet 16. But how cool would it be if we remove the, uh, the section of the uh, guitars? So remove the guitars. So we have now muted them in the song. And you can also save the song if you want to have a default setup like this. And well, we are going to bar 14 and we are going to, well, loop the bar 14 so that we have a standard blue scheme which we can jam along on. So now it goes to 40 and we loop it. So that means that now we have this section completely looped and it will go on forever as long as we want. So let's try something. And you see that it's looped uh, to 14 again. So a completely new style in the blue scheme uh, with just one MIDI file and it's that easy. Trying to experiment with this, it's an amazing feature. Uh, also uh, something you can't find on any other keyboard. It's a new feature also for Korg. 
but it's a really strong uh, point to use and it breathes completely new life into your old MIDI files because this way you can use them as song styles uh, the way you want and you can do whatever you want and mute elements in it on the fly. Um, of course, you can set up your uh, own sounds in it. Uh, you can revoice them. That's another tutorial. Uh, you can loop sections, uh, you can jump between sections in your song file and you only have to set it up once and then uh, everything is done in the Quark PA5X. So that's it for now and hope to see you again in a new tutorial.